Fuse Master Infinity System consists of a pair of 11 inch diameter durable ceramic texture plates and a unique freestyle floating waveform slumping mold. Designed by acclaimed potter Dan Wheeler, flexibility and freedom are the main attributes of this system. With this mix and match approach, every piece you make can look like a one of a kind creation or part of a themed series. Take this opportunity to stand out from the crowd, increase marketability, and explore this fun and exciting approach to glass artistry. The process is very simple. With the two-fire approach, a single piece of quarter-inch thick glass is placed on a textured plate, then heated just enough to pick up the dimensional pattern. Then for the second firing, it is bent into the slumping mold to give it its final shape. Here I'm using quarter inch window glass or float glass, which is harder than most art glass, so these temperatures are higher than would be used for say Spectrum, Euroboro, Swissmack, or Bullseye. The first step is to prepare the mold with the release agent. I'm using Fuse Master Premium Kiln Wash and Shelf Primer, mixed one part dry powder to four parts water. Allow the shelf primer to dry, then clean out the vent holes. These holes keep air bubbles from being trapped between the glass and the textured plate. Sometimes it's easier to clean them from the backside. Because glass contracts more than ceramic when cooling, if it is allowed to fall over the outside edge of the textured plate, it will break. But you can go larger than the standard 11 inch diameter if you support the glass. Here I'm using rigidized ceramic fiber board to hold up the edge. I smooth the shelf primer and put small pieces of ceramic fiber paper under the texture plate so the air can escape through the vent holes. Next I center the plate in the middle of the opening. I'm using an old piece of quarter inch float glass from another project that already has a slight pattern. I position the glass and then fire using the texture schedule at 300 degrees per hour to 1425 Fahrenheit and I hold it there for 35 minutes. The glass fell over but didn't pinch the edge of the ceramic plate, creating a solid circular foot. For the first firing, I start with a center section and an outer ring as my base layer. I'm using System 96 Fine Frit to support the upper layer. A light dusting around the outer edge will greatly minimize the amount of air bubbles being trapped between the layers. This is the basic three firing approach. It is useful when combining eighth inch layers of art glass. Fuse all of these elements together on a flat shelf to create a solid blank that can now be texture fired. Trying to fuse flat layers together on top of the textured plate will often produce large, unsightly air bubbles. That is why it's helpful to fire the layers on a flat shelf first. Art glass is softer than window glass, so lower temperatures are used to get the same visual results. Different looks are created depending upon how the pieces are fired on the texture plate. At 1400 degrees, the glass is touching all of the valleys in the mold, and the texture of the shelf primer gives the glass a uniform pebbly look. There are some slight dimples from the vent holes, but they are not over pronounced. Using a lower temperature will still create a strong dimensional look, but the spirals will be shiny because it didn't quite touch the bottom of the valleys. There are several ways to control the bubble patterns in between layers of glass. Applying a series of lines to the base glass using frit mixed with liquid stringer medium will help form little cells that will each contain an air bubble. The brown coloring burned out in this example, but the bubble patterns are in place. Wherever liquid stringer lines cross the ridges of the textured plate, a cell is formed. The air that is trapped when the base glass drops down into the valley becomes encased. The bubbles will congregate close to the stringer lines.
placing glass stringers onto the base will also trap air bubbles. The point where the lines start and stop will affect the size of the bubbles. The closer the end points are to the edge and the center, the smaller the bubbles. The Fuse Master Infinity System is a lot of fun to play with. The look is exciting and fresh. Give them a try if you want your work to really stand out from the crowd. They will increase marketability if you're selling at galleries and craft fairs. Your friends and family will love them and these pieces are a joy to make. Thank you for watching.